Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 7, Milk Base. Let's learn about Visualizing the surface area of a solid figure. This is from Learner's Packet Lip. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about visualizing the surface area of a solid figure. For most essential learning competencies, visualizes and describes surface area and names the unit of measure used for measuring the surface area of solid or space figures. In this lesson, you will learn how to visualize the surface area of solid figures such as cube, prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder, and sphere. You will also learn the formula to be used in solving surface area. Surface area refers to the sum of the areas of all the surfaces of a solid figure. Let's have first a review about area of some plane figures. Area of square. The formula is area equals side times side. Area of rectangle. The formula for this is area equals length times width. Area of triangle. The formula for this is area equals one half base times height or base times height divided by 2. Area of circle. The formula for this is area equals pi radius square. Solid figures are figures made from different plane figures. In solving for surface area, it is very important that you know what plane figure is represented by its face. Let's take a look at this situation. Aling Sol wanted to redesign her old wooden box. She will be using a decorative sticker paper to cover and to make it look new. How would she know the exact area of sticker paper for the wooden box? Let's study about visualizing and describing. To determine the exact area of sticker paper for the wooden box, we need to get its surface area of a rectangular prism. To determine the surface area, we need to know what plane figure is represented by its faces. Here are the different faces of rectangular prism. The dark color is the front. The dark color is the back. The dark color is the top. The dark color is the bottom. The dark color is the left side. And the dark color is the right side. So these are the different faces of rectangular prism. The illustration shows the six faces of rectangular prism. Through solving the areas of these faces, we can get the surface area of the rectangular prism. Another way of describing the surface area of a solid figure is through determining the area of its net. A net is a flat pattern that you can fold to form a solid figure. This is the illustration of the net of the rectangular prism represented by the wooden box. To solve for surface area, you need to get the area of its faces. SA, or surface area, equals area of left side, plus area of right side, plus area of front, plus area of back, plus area of top, plus area of bottom. Thus, the surface area of a rectangular prism is 
surface area equals to open and close parentheses height times width plus width times length plus length times height or surface area equals to open and close parentheses height times width plus 2 open and close parentheses width times length plus 2 open and close parentheses length times height here is the surface area of a cube a cube has six square faces the total area of its six square faces is equal to its surface area the net of a cube is this Next is the surface area of a triangular prism. A triangular prism has three rectangular lateral faces and two bases which are triangles. The sum of the areas of the bases and lateral faces is its surface area. This is the net of triangular prism. Another is surface area of pyramid. Pyramid is a solid whose base is a polygon and whose lateral faces are triangles with a common vertex or apex is called a pyramid. And this is the net of square pyramid. The surface area of the pyramid is the sum of the area of its polygonal base and triangular faces. Next is surface area of cylinder. A cylinder is a solid figure with two circular bases and one curved surface. This is the open figure of cylinder. And this is the net of cylinder. As you can see, the two circular bases has a formula of area equals pi radius square. And the one curved surface has a formula of area equals length times width. The surface area of the cylinder is the sum of the area of the two circular vases and the rectangular lateral area. Thus, the surface area for cylinder is surface area equals lateral surface plus 2 base or surface area equals 2 pi radius height. Next is surface area of a cone. A cone is a solid figure with one vertex a circular base, and a lateral curved surface. This is the open figure of a cone. This is a lateral curved surface, and this is a circular base. To get the area of the lateral surface, let us divide it into equal parts, then arrange the parts in rectangular formation as shown below. So the first figure is the lateral surface. The second picture has a formula of circumference divided by 2 equals 2 pi radius divided by 2. The base of the new figure is pi r and the height is the slant height of the curved surface. So lateral area equals pi radius side. Next is Surface area of spear. A spear is a space figure with such a shape that every point on it is of the same distance to the center. If you take a semicircle and rotate it, the figure trace is a spear. The total four areas of circles cover completely the surface area of a spear of the same radius. So, the surface area of a spear is surface area equals 4 pi radius square here are the different units of measure for the surface area to measure surface area we use also square units we use square millimeter square centimeter square decimeter square meter square kilometer Square inch, square foot, square yard, or square mile. Study the illustration how unit of measure for surface area of the rectangular prism is used. This is the rectangular prism. 
And this is the net of a rectangular prism. And now, let's proceed to learning task 1. Match the solid figure in column A with their corresponding nets in column B. Number 1 is a cylinder. What is the correct net for the cylinder? Choose in column B. Very good! The correct net for a cylinder is letter D. Number 2, cube. What is the correct net for this figure? Very good! The correct answer is letter F. Number 3, spear. What is the correct net for this figure? Very good! The correct net is letter C. Number 4, cone. What is the correct net for this figure? Very good! The correct net is letter A. Number 5, square pyramid. What is the correct net for this figure? Very good! The correct net is letter B. And number 6, this is triangular prism. What is the correct net for this figure? Very good! The correct net for this figure is letter E. For learning task 2, refer to the given figure below to answer the questions. This is the given figure. First question, what is the shape of the base? Very good! The shape of the base is rectangle. Second question, what is the name of the solid figure? Correct! The name of the solid figure is rectangular prism. Third question, what is the lateral area of the figure? These are the lateral area of the figure. Left side, 4 meter times 1 meter equals 4 square meter. Right side, 4 meter plus 1 meter equals 4 square meters. Front, 4 meter times 2 meter equals 8 square meters. Back, 4 meters plus 2 meters equals 8 square meters. Then, add 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24 square meters. The lateral area of the figure is 24 square meters. Fourth question, what is the area of the base? Top is 1 meter times 2 meters is 2 square meters. And the bottom is 1 meter plus 2 meters equals 2 square meters. Then add 2 square meters plus 2 square meters equals 4 square meters. So the area of the base is 4 square meters. And for number 5, what is the surface area of this prism? To find the surface area of the prism, we need to sum up the areas of all 6 faces. Left side with 4 square meters. Right side, 4 square meters. Front, 8 square meters. Back, 8 square meters. Top, 2 square meters. And bottom, 2 square meters. Then add, 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 equals 28 square meters. The surface area of the prism is 28 square meters. For learning task 3, Visualize and solve the problem. Number 1. Aling Sol wanted to redesign her old wooden box in a dimension of 20 cm long, 5 cm high, and 4 cm wide. She will be using a decorative sticker paper to cover and to make it look new. How much sticker papers will be needed? This is the solid figure of a rectangular prism. The height is 5 cm, the width is 4 cm, and the length is 20 cm. Surface area of a rectangular prism. 
the formula for the surface area of a rectangular prism is surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height 2 times 20 times 4 plus 2 times 20 times 5 plus 2 times 5 times 4 equals 20 times 4 equals 80 square centimeter 20 times 5 equals 100 square centimeter 5 times 4 equals 20 square centimeters now multiply 2 times 80 equals 160 square centimeters 2 times 100 equals 200 square centimeters and 2 times 20 equals 40 square centimeters then add 160 plus 200 plus 40 equals 400 square centimeters the surface area is 400 square centimeters the sticker papers that she will be needed is 400 square centimeters number two mrs hernandez made a cylindrical pencil holder it has a height of 5 inches and a diameter of 4 inches how much material does she need to make her pencil holder use pi equals 3.14 and here is the answer here are the given dimensions height is 5 inches diameter is 4 inches so the radius is 4 divided by 2 equals 2 inches and pi equals 3.14 the formula for the surface area of a cylinder is surface area equals 2 pi radius square plus 2 pi radius height. 2 pi 2 square plus 2 pi times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. 2 times 5 equals 10 times 2 equals 20. 20 pi. Then add 8 pi plus 25 equals 28 pi then multiply to pi 28 times 3.14 equals 87.92 square inch this is the surface area so the material that she need to make her pencil holder is 87.92 square inch and for the last activity directions fill in the blanks Choose the correct answer from the given choices inside the box. The given choices are net, square, cubic, rectangular prism, surface area, cylinder. Number 1. The sum of all areas of lateral faces and bases of a solid figure is called surface area. Number 2. The flat pattern that you can fold to form a solid figure is is known as blank it helps you visualize and describe the surface areas because they are flat representation of solid figures what is the correct answer very good the correct answer is net number three the sum of the areas of its six faces is the surface area of a blank the area of each face is equal to the product of length and width. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is square. Number 4. The sum of the areas of the two circular bases and rectangular lateral area is the surface area of the blank. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is cylinder. And number five, to measure surface area, we use blank units. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is cubic. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!